What is going on, guys? Welcome to our Finance Tuesdays. I hope you guys are having a great week. Hope you're off to a great start with your goals and that you're doing well. And my goal with the Finance Tuesdays is really simple, that you guys achieve financial freedom, that you guys are financially stabled, and that you have, you know, security, that you feel like you're properly clothed. You see, when it comes to clothes, if I don't have the right layers on, let's just say it's winter, and I don't have the jacket, I don't have the proper pants on, I'm going to be out there exposing myself, right? So I have to clothe myself properly. And when it comes to money, you want to have the same approach. Because if you're not stable, if you're always like borrowing money and you don't have enough in the bank, then you need to reassess your behaviors with finances. And that's what we're trying to do here is get you to understand like, hey, this is where you are. And there is a direction you can go where you can actually achieve wealth, where the financial freedom is actually possible. Now, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. We're going to jump right into this topic. We're going to be talking about the triangle of wealth and how to build your finances appropriately. Because again, if you're not properly clothed, then you're going to expose yourself. And I learned this concept back in 2019. It's been working really well for my life. I'm in the stage of earning income and just saving my capital for now. And the reason why I say that is because I still have to finish paying off the rest of my debt and my wife's debt. All I have left is her car note and three student loans, and that's it. Now, you're probably wondering, why don't I go out and invest if I have all this capital? Well, the main reason is I have to take care of that first, right? And I don't want that hanging over my head and hoping this investment works out. Because sometimes what people tend to do is they go from earning income to investing right away, and don't consider having an emergency fund in case something doesn't work out, right? What if you have a car breakdown? You don't have anything to pay for it. What if you have a situation where your health goes south really quickly, and you got to be in the hospital? And you've got no savings for that. You know, we don't think about those things. We have to consider all those factors because you're going to have an emergency happen. Car's going to break down if you have a house. Things are going to break down. If your health deteriorates, that could happen at any moment. Or if you're married, what if it happens to your spouse? If you have a child, what if something happens to them? You got to consider all those factors, right? You got to make sure you have emergency savings. That's why I have a forced savings plan and a life insurance policy because it's going to grow. And I can use that to protect myself, whether it's to pay up debt. It's only used to pay up debt right now invest eventually and invest in education. Or if I have a major, major emergency going on, I can use it for that as well. And you're like, well, if you borrow from me, you can't use it again. Yes, you can. You just pay yourself back and you keep saving on a month to month basis. That's the beauty of using a whole life insurance dividend policy. So that's where I put my money. I don't keep it just in the bank, but I also have an emergency savings in the bank, you know, just in case I need it right away and I have to wait for the policy to process my funds. Now, the reason why you want to focus on earning and then saving is because, like I just said, you never know what's going to happen. You always have to be prepared. Now, if you're in debt and investing, I don't recommend that because what if that investment doesn't work out? We don't consider the other side of things when we're making these decisions. I used to always have my money and then go out and invest. It was just really dumb. I didn't consider like putting more in emergency savings and protecting myself in case something happens in my life. If I have a $2,000 emergency, that needs to be taken care of. Like, I need to think about that, right? So you want to make sure you're going in the proper direction when it comes to the triangle of wealth. You want to earn your income first. You want to find different ways to earn income. I recommend finding two to three skills. Have a side hustle. You could do Uber. You can do uh, Lyft. You just got to get started right away. And on the other side of it is maybe start a YouTube page and start building your subscribers, right? I have over a thousand subscribers now, which is awesome. Thank you for all the support. But I know I have to keep going to get monetized, right? So there are different things I'm working on and striving for. It's during the day I sell Medicare and then I do this. That's all I do. And I don't focus on other opportunities. That's another thing. You don't need to be a jack of all trades. So as you get older, your time is going to be more valuable. You have to be careful where you invest your time. Yes, fail, but also find things that you enjoy that you can produce income, right? And as you're building th these things up, guess what? You have other sources coming in. So make that a priority. And as you earn more income, guess what? You have more money to save. And then you can use those funds, that capital, to go out and handle things like paying off debt. Paying off debt is an investment. When that, Once that debt's gone, that payment is gone forever, right? That's a great feeling. You never have to worry about it again. Now, don't go out and make a dumb purchase, like buy the most expensive car. Don't do that. Build wealth slowly. You know, it doesn't happen overnight. Take your time. If you're patient, if you do the right things, I promise you will get to the other side of this. You know, if you want to just work till you're 65 and retire, hey, be my guest. This video is not for you. But if you want more out of life, if you want to see, you know, goals and dreams accomplished, well, you got to make these kind of sacrifices. It's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of focus and effort. So yeah, the triangle wealth is a 
great thing to apply. I would encourage you to do that. I'm going to share the link of the article along with Wealth Dynamics in the um, links below. And if you have any questions, love to hear from you guys. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you on the next one.